get a replay in slow motion of her face right now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, make sure you stay true, hit the like button. Don't be a hater in your life. Subscribe. Subscribe right now. And turn on your post notifications by clicking on the little bell next to the sub button. We're almost done with 2020, Lucci gang. This year seemed like it just flew on by. We're about to be in October. Holidays finna come and that's it. The year that went by. Yeah, 2020 was like a little rough one. You know what I'm saying? But... I, I Man, 2020 was like one of my best years. I, I mean, I my heart goes out to people that were uh, affected by COVID-19. But hey, man. 2020 was good to me. <laughs> No, yeah, I, I know that, but it was kind of rough because we had to like have a baby during Corona, like this whole year, if you really think about it, it's been like, I don't know, it's been a lot of chapters in this year, you know what I'm saying? So it is, Wednesday? Wednesday. Tomorrow is Kiss's birthday, woo woo! Also, huge shout out to everybody that checked out and watched our daily devotional uh, video for today. It was something that really came to mind to us just yesterday, so it was really like spontaneous. And instead of just letting it sit in our minds and like marinate we said, Let's go on, make with one. thoughts and doubt, we just decided to just go for it. Um, so we I can... have a daily devotion book that I read every day. It's like just a little small little paragraph, and it helps me with my morning and my day. And and I feel like if it helps me, it could help others as well. So we decided to start doing a daily devotion on our YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Luciano TV Ministries. Hold up, baby. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you go check it out. And we're actually putting them to the Olive Garden as we speak. So let's go. This way, boy. It like smells you. delicious in here. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. Y'all, baby Ro is getting so big and cuter by the day. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll give you that. What are you going to get, babe? Soup and salad. Soup and salad. Yeah. What about you, King? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Yeah. Some raviolis or something. Like that. <laughs> or? So I'm going to look over this menu and then I'll be back. Sitting here brainstorming, getting ready for this uh, 90 day boot camp challenge that we're putting together. And I had to fly the coach in so he can give me some pointers because I'm really, really starting to take my, my coaching serious. So, and I got a lot of people that, you know, ask. For advice, so you know we're gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something together real special for y'all, real real special to end the year off right. 2020 can still be your year. You know, 2020 was a great year for me, and I know it was hard for a lot of other people, but man, I 2020 it was one of my best years of my life, and it was because of the changes that I made. And um, you got your vibe attracts your tribe, man. Your vibe attracts your tribe. I was talking to Coach C about how we met. I was thinking about how we met. And, and it was because of the positive videos, the positivity I was putting out. I started to put out in my videos with Kelly and I when we would go on our walks around the lake in the morning when the kids were at school a couple years ago or about a year and a half ago. And we just started trying to put positive energy out there. And he happened to just come across one of the videos and that positivity and that, uh, you know, that that yearning for change and for growth is what caught his attention. Absolutely. And I just want to say this real quick, like to everybody out there in Lucci Get. Listen, you never know who's watching you. You never know who's watching you. So when you're putting out the positive vibes, when you're talking to people in the grocery store, when you just doing everyday things and you're putting out positive vibrations, I'm telling you right now, things will be attracted into your life like they never have before. The only reason that me and Lucky are actually sitting here right now in his home is because I caught wind of those videos. I started watching them. I actually binge watched. I think I binge watched about 100 episodes before I even contacted the guy. And that's how awesome it was. And I was like, this guy's on to something. And I think that he's going to do amazing things. So stay tuned because this is going to be something so amazing, so life-changing, so awesome for the Lucha gang. 
And we're just excited about it. We're excited because Lucky is really honing in and getting serious about his coaching programs and about this challenge that he's got for you guys. So stay tuned. Yeah, and same thing with Pastor Juan. When I met Pastor Juan, that's what he told me, that he saw one of my videos on Instagram. One of my, uh, I put a clip from my, one of my motivation, morning motivational videos, yep. and he came across it. And the same thing, he, he said that's what, that's what caught his attention. So, man, yeah, just put out those positive vibes, those positive, those positive frequencies, and that's what's going to get brought back into your life. You Let me know? ask you this, Luck, real quick. Because of the fact that you put out the positive vibes, and now you attracted those people, myself and Pastor Juan, into your life. Has your life been elevated because of that? Yes, it has. It has. And the negative people that were in my life have got, gone away. You know what I'm saying? Like like I, I said before, I don't really have the haters or have to be dealing with the, the beef in the streets or, you know what I'm saying, the rap beef and all that. Like... I'm so I'm so elevated mentally, like none of that stuff even it, it doesn't even exist in my like reality. Yeah, it's just, it just, just it's not there no more. It don't even exist in my reality no more. It's like I just I had a whole paradigm shift. And that's what I'm gonna try to teach the viewers or anybody who wants to learn. I'm gonna teach you how to change your life for the better. Let's go, man. Shout out to Kelly Jean came through. You know, I, as a man, I'm like a, the, the machine. I make it happen, but she's like the oil in my engine. Without the oil, the engine don't run. The engine gonna burn out. Gotta have Kelly Jean around here, baby. So, King Houston was in there talking about Dada is me, Dada. Where? Yeah. All right now. You see me? Yeah. How was school, girls? Open the door. Baby Ro Baby feeding Ro himself Ro like a big boy. Yeah. How was school, Leah? Leah? Good. You had fun? Already. Shout out to Kelly Jean in the kitchen, whipping up some chicken enchiladas. She just got back from picking up the girls from school and going to the grocery store and being a good esposa and getting these enchiladas cooked just how I like them. Shred that chicken, baby. Shred that chicken. I'm so tired. Like, Baby Rob woke me up like around 5 in the morning today. And I just feel like I've been on go mode since my feet hit the floor. I haven't been able to, like, stop. Oh, yeah? yeah. That's what happens when you're a senora. Senora life gets a thumbs down sometimes. Well, I'm not making the enchiladas like um, my friend Brenda did them the other day. I'm actually going to make them the way I make them. Um, the way that I found was like the tastiest for me. You didn't give me no chili? No. Chili and cheese? No. What you doing in there, Lil? Lil? Hey, hey, do you know something? Let me tell you something. Okay. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Did you not know that? What do you mean by your tribe? The people that are in your life. Ain't that right, baby Ro? I uh, put the salsa on these. Um, what I did was I cooked the chicken in this green salsa, and then once that was done, basically had my tortillas ready to roll up. I started rolling them up, and I also mixed this salsa with some crema, top of the crema, and then uh, I poured that layer of salsa first, and then I added some creamy salsa verde on top. So we're just gonna top them off with some cheese. I don't, like, I like queso fresco, but I like the mozzarella because it'll like melt and like, it'll make it so cheesy and good. So that's the type of cheese I'm using, is mozzarella cheese. In case y'all are wondering. 
So now these are ready to pop in the oven. It doesn't really take long after oh, you put man, them in the I oven. Oh, I feel like I can eat all that. Oh, you got two. That's a problem. Oh, Kelly Jean over here going ham in the kitchen. We made these enchiladas because Caesar was actually asking for green enchiladas. He was like, I want some enchiladas. Let me find out. Let me find out. I thought you wanted the chili cheese enchilada, man. No, man. I don't want none of that chili cheese, dog. Man, y'all don't know about that Texas style chili cheese enchilada, man. So we're treating him with a dinner here at home. And yeah, shout out to Coach C for coming all the way to Houston to help us work. All right, appreciate y'all for watching. We finna get into this dinner and see y'all tomorrow. Hey, don't forget we got a, something big we working on right now for y'all. Y'all stay, y'all stay tuned. Y'all don't want to miss out on this. We're gonna end the year with a bang. Don't forget. Y'all wish Kingston a happy birthday. Tomorrow is his birthday turning 13. Someone in my class watches the vlog and I don't know who it is because I was in Zoom. And what they say? How, what, how do you know they watch the vlog? Because I, went, I joined the Zoom late because she wouldn't let me in, but she finally let me in. And the teacher, well, somebody said I watched, the, I watched the vlog yesterday and I didn't know who it was. They were like, hey, I watched the blog yesterday. But I didn't know who it was. They were like, what's up? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get your YouTube game up, boy.